Bum -ba -da -dum. Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. This is your online home for learning how to play the banjo, the mandolin, or the guitar. Today we're looking at an intermediate version of an old classic fiddle tune in the key of A. It's called Bill Cheatham. What I like about this version, and I explain and teach this uh, throughout the lesson, is that fiddle tunes typically are divided into two small A sections and two small B sections. So we've got a lot of variety here. So if there's an A section or a B section that might be too hard for you, or if you like one over the other, you can just substitute them in wherever you want. So you've got a lot of freedom there. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, here in a little while I'll ask you to go over to my website, banjobenclark.com where you can find hundreds of videos and tabs, including the tab for today's lesson. Real nice and pretty there. I have them in PDF and TIFF format, so you can print them out. Um, and even if you're not a member, you can go over there and sign up for a free trial membership. And that gives you three full days of watching all of my videos. And uh, I think you'll like what we do over there. Okay, let's check out Bill Cheatham on the mandolin. Bill Cheatham in the key of A. First thing I want to mention is beneath the tab here, I have your pick directions beneath each one of the notes for your pleasure, your playing pleasure. Um, second thing is that this is a standard fiddle tune, okay? So it's divided technically into four um, sections that are eight measures long a piece, okay? And the first two are the same chord progression, they're called the A parts. Then the second two are a little different progression. They're called the B parts. So what makes that great is that you can learn maybe the first little A part that I give you and just play it over again for the second A part or vice versa. And the same for the Bs. Okay, so this gives you a lot of versatility. If you like something that I do in the first A part, just play it in the second A part. Or maybe if the first or second B part is too difficult for you, that's okay. Just play the first B part two times in a row and it's fine, but I like to give you as much variety as possible. We're gonna start off here on the uh, fourth beat of the first measure uh, with just a little pickup, okay? Starting on the second fret of the D string. So that's just four and, then we go right into the melody um, there in measure two. Okay, so it just starts out with three quarter notes there in the, in the second measure. And I like to keep that first index finger down to have it ring through if I can. It's hard not to muffle the strings. Okay. And then on the fourth beat of that measure, we just have an open A string in the second fret. Okay. So just the pickup in that first measure um, sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. All right, now measure three, we're gonna start getting into some really uh, melodic type licks. And the first time through this A part, I keep it really major. The second time through the A part, we start adding a few blues notes, a few minor notes in there just to kind of keep it interesting. Measure three is pretty simple. It's just fourth, second, fourth, and then open E string. And I would recommend keeping that middle finger down because you're gonna come right back to it in the third beat of measure three. Okay, so measure three. One and two and three and four and... Good, now the chord changes here to a D chord. Uh, so we're going to uh, do a kind of a D lick here starting out on our open D string. Then to the fourth fret and then switch that to the A string. And then fourth fret again, land on the fifth fret, okay? Okay, that's what measure four sounds like. Let's just play measures one through four slowly together. You wanna try it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, Measure five, we're still hovering over that D chord. Um, and it starts out on the fifth fret of the A string. Measure five slowly sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. Good. In measure six, we play exactly um, what we saw back in measure two. 
Okay, we've already covered that. Measure seven is almost exactly like measure three. It just ends a little differently. Now we're into the final two measures of the first little A part. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up here. It goes back to this D lick, starting on the fifth fret of the A string. Measure eight sounds like this slowly. Okay. Good, and then let's wrap it up there in measure nine, just coming back down to the, the root chord. And then technically we're done uh, with the first A part and we're gonna go into the second A part that starts out the same, but then we're going, we're going to have some blues notes. You hear that and right here? Cool. But if these blues notes and these licks in the second A part are a little too difficult for you, there in measure 10, just start over again in measure two and play up through measure nine and you'll be good to go and ready to move on to the B part. Let's check out the second A part. 